it's good YouTube it's your boy bugs back and yes oh my god guys I am back from a long road trip from Albany back to Long Island and guys I'm so excited to be back <coughs> I sound shot because I am and guys I just want to I just hope you guys like my videos while I was gone those were all pre-recorded I went on the grind day before I left and I posted mad videos I hope you guys liked it and guys if you're watching this anybody who's watching this please go subscribe please like the video because if you guys like the video and comment down below I will be giving away some stubs don't ask me how I'm gonna give away stubs but I will hundred percent so just I'm gonna probably give away like 10k subs to a random person in the comments so go down below and go smash the like button, comment, and say 10K or 5K, whatever. I'm either giving away 5K or 10K to two random kids in the comments down below. So, but the video needs to hit 20 likes. 20 likes and I will give away the stubs. If it doesn't hit 20 likes, maybe next time we'll do it. But, alright, so, while I was gone, I was dreaming about MLB. And what came to my mind was the market. I want to go over some market predictions and market market earnings and all this stuff for the market everything to do with the market so let's get into the video okay so what i realized that for some reason the market is so like it's still so low i don't know how hold on let me, let me fix that a little bit okay yo it's still so low okay don't ask me how i don't know why it's it's going up a little bit but for some reason the players who have out like better edge like let's say for instance Nolan Arenado has plus one so he's like you have to watch his price because if it says they're plus for some reason they always go up it's so stupid just why I don't know it's just stupid because once they don't have the plus overall they drop in value like instantly it just doesn't make any sense to me I mean, yeah, it's usually like this, but like, it's so stupid. For instance, I'm gonna show you. Okay, okay hold on. Who's going up, Mads? Let, let's go to Christian Yelich because he's unbelievable. He broke records. He's insane. Okay, Yelich. So Yelich is so much money, and right now the reason is he is doing amazing. He just broke a record for the most consecutive home runs to start of a season. Not consecutive. I mean, most consecutive days to hit home runs. He just dropped four home runs in the last four games, okay? Unbelievable. And not only did he drop home runs, he got double singles. He's His average is outstanding. Top, the best player in the league right now. So, he has the plus three edge. So, what I'm going to say is, if his edge wasn't plus three, if it was negative three, he wouldn't be 67K. He would be 60K. So, if you have mad stubs and you have a bunch of diamond and golds, whatever the edge is up, let's say it's plus three, sell it right away. Sell it. <clears throat> because um they're gonna go down in price once the edge is gone they'll probably go down like three to maybe even 10k and it's facts i've noticed this the whole time like okay bryce harper 67k he's gonna keep dropping and not only that his price is shaky so like it could be either way but a hundred percent his price is gonna drop because his edge is up to edge is up to his stats go up a lot so you want to keep that in mind like it's facts i'm 100 percent right okay Edwin Diaz, his edge is up 22k. He's gonna drop. He's obviously gonna go down to like 19k. You'll see. These are my predictions, but I know that it's right because the edge is up. Look, Aldrin Simmons was like literally 12k yesterday. He's already at 14.5 because his edge is up. Staten's at 46. He was at 40. His edge is up. <coughs> but you know what else I noticed, guys? Everyone edges up. They went up, but like guys, look at this. So Carrasco, he he got lit up today, and it's still 4k. He went up in price as well. But what I noticed, all the guys with down edge, I don't know, does anyone have him right now? I don't think anyone has down edge. Okay, him. He went down in price. He was 3K, 3,300. He's at 2K. So if you want to pick him up and get him, and then when his outside, his above edge goes up, you can make stubs. You can make mad stubs that way. Wilson Ramos is down. He's literally, I have him. He's so good. Look at his hitting. He's an average hitter vision. His speed's trash, but everything, he's just such a, he's one of my favorite catchers in the game. I'm not going to replace him forever, literally. The only time I'm going to replace him is whether like a Pete Rose or something, like I don't know. But man, he's so good. One of the best players. Matt Olsen's a gold. Did they just upgrade him? I don't, I think they just upgraded him. I don't remember him being old. I don't know, I could be just stupid as hell, but 
Guys, what you want to do right now? Puig's edge is up. He went up a couple hundred coins. He's really should be like 1300. So he went up. So really, guys, if you have a team, right, and you don't have that many stubs, let's say you have a bunch of gold players that's 1k, 2k. When their edge goes up, sell them immediately because I'm right. It's gonna happen. It's like they all go up in price once their edge is up. And if no one knows what edge means, it's the green arrow. It means you're going up in overall. It means you're on the come up. But it really just means that they're just playing a game today and that they're, they have a good chance of going off. That's what it is. So, so guys, keep that in mind. You have to kind of pay attention to stats in real life. I'll talk about stats in real life every day on my channel if you watch. I'll always talk about stats and stuff. But, like, listen... A bunch of players of bronzes and silvers you always have to pay attention to because they can become gold and you can make a bunch of coins. But right now, the way, best way to make your stubs is paying attention to the inside edge because it means a lot in this game and I realized that the hard way. So, guys, you want to pay attention to, I would say, right now, I would say pay attention to the 84s. I would pay attention to the 84s right here. Carrasco got lit up. You don't want to buy him. Don't buy him. Craig Kimbrough's a free agent. Freddie Freeman might go up. His inside edge is high, and he's Freddie Freeman. He's definitely going to be a non 85. Let's see. <coughs> what else we got? Trey Turner in a walk-off home run. He's going to be a diamond soon. His, he's very good car. I love Trey Turner. His power is probably going to go up soon. Trevor Story's doing pretty good. So, ready? The 84s, those are the people to watch. Lorenzo Kane, not good. You want to look right now. Trevor Story and Trey Turner are awesome pickups right now. Like, they're, they're my top pickups right now. Okuna, doing good. And my number one pickup right now for diamonds is yelling. She's going to go up in price. He's probably going to be like a 90-something. Uh, unless, yeah, like, look, he's already 72K. Everyone's buying him because he's literally one of the best hitters right now. He's on fire. You can make profit off this right now. <coughs> Put your son now at 61 and you'll make mad profit. And, guys, I'm sorry if I sound, like, stupid. I'm just shot. I'm so shot. The car ride was terrible. But... Okay, so pay attention to all this stuff, what I'm saying, and I'm telling you'll be right. You'll make mad stubs. Just pay attention. Just pay attention to the inside edge every single day, and you will make mad stubs. I promise you guys. I'm not fluking you guys. I'm 100% correct. I've been playing this game forever. Oh, my God. Let me go some over. Let's go over some silver, guys, quick. That are probably going to go up. Let's see. Hold up one sec. Uh, some silver dudes. Okay. We got silvers. Okay. You don't really want to look at relief pitchers. Salvi's not. He's out. Okay. Jose Morales. My number one. His inside edge isn't up. He pitched a complete gem. Seven innings. Like 10 Ks. No runs. No walks. Gem. So he's probably going to go open overall. I don't know how Jack 5 3 pitched. Yadier Molina could be a gold. He's just a savvy vet. Uh, let's see. Mike Mustak is doing pretty good. He. Rick Parcello just got a win. He could be pretty good. Uh, we got Max Muncy hit a dinger, a couple dingers. He's gonna, he could be really good. Reese Hoskins is doing okay. He could go up. So all these predictions, not even really predictions, kind of just facts. It's just, just Joey Gallo. I think he had a home run. I don't know. He could go up. He's super overpriced. I don't know if you want to pick it up a card. <coughs> <coughs> His power is insane. Uh, don't ask me how he has 99 power. It's McCutcheon did really good. His first at bat or one of his first at bats is a Philly. Was a home run. Congratulations. He could go up to a gold. It's Andrew McCutcheon. Scooter Jeanette's out. If you see Scooter Jeanette for cheap, pick him up. He's going to be a gold this year. He's one. Of, he's an amazing average hitter. He has mad RBIs. He's very underrated. He's definitely going to be a gold this year. And guys, Kenta Maeda got a win. He could go up. Kenta Maeda's coming up. Andrew R could be a gold. It's Andrew R. He did amazing last year. He, sh he should have been like, last year he put up literally all-star numbers. He was a stud. Complete stud. Uh, honestly, that's really all I got. Gleyber Torres, I want to say, is a good investment. He doesn't bat that high. Gary Sanchez, so overpriced. He has the power. His field. How is his fielding 81? He's one of the most lousy fielders I've ever seen. That's crazy. 81 fielding for one of the worst fielding catchers. That's just disrespect to any other catcher in the game. Jake Arrieta is doing good right now. So, guys, all these predictions are really on point. I'm telling you, they're going to help you guys. You're going to make mad stubs. I promise. Just pay attention to the silvers, the high golds, some diamond cards that are going off, like Mookie Betts, Yelich, all of them. And like I said, guys, everyone who's watching this video, be sure to subscribe to your boy. Comment. Comment 5K or 10K, whatever you want to comment. Like the video. If it gets to 20 likes, I'm giving away stubs. I don't exactly know how I'm going to give away stubs because you can't just post stuff on the auction for any time, any price you want. 
So I guess you're gonna have to post a bronze card that's like weirdly priced for like expensive, and I'll just keep buying the bronze cards. But yes, I will give away five to ten k to two random people as long as you just like and subscribe to your boy bugs. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Just please be sure to like and comment. Get to twenty likes, I'm doing it. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy my predictions. I know they're on point. I watch baseball all day, every day. I'm on fantasy app scrolling to see what, what my team's refreshing at. So. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a great day, and peace out, everyone.